I'm Pastor Keith Burroughs, the Children's Pastor at Evangel Temple, and I want to welcome you to this replay of our recently recorded webinar, which we put together as a help for all Kidstown parents. All parents have been thrust into new roles, and one of them, of course, is teacher. And in this webinar, you're going to find some good biblical truths, practical suggestions, and many, many resources that I feel will be a blessing to you and your family. A group of pastors, teachers, leaders, and homeschoolers have all come together to be of help to our church family. And I hope you will enjoy the next few minutes together. It will be well worth your time. And if you want to truly become a super parent, there are several pages of notes that go along with this video, and they can be downloaded from our kids' website at kidstownet.com. Just go to the site, click on the Super Parent webinar, and you will be taken to the webinar page with all the information. If you have questions that you would like our panel to address in the future, you can do one of two things. You can email me at pastorkeithburrows at gmail.com, or join our new Facebook group, the ETAG Kidstown Super Parent Group. The links are available on our website, and our panel will answer your questions right there. So I hope you will enjoy this webinar as well as share it with other parents so they too can benefit from it. Let's join the webinar right now. All right, we want to welcome you all to our webinar, our super parent webinar for Evangel Temple parents. And uh, we just want this to be a blessing to all parents. And this webinar is available for download and to watch. And I've gathered together a host of uh, panel members, uh, of pastors, teachers, uh, leaders in our church uh, to be a, a blessing and help to you. And I just want to start out by sharing a couple of quotes that I found kind of interesting um, about teaching our children. One is, if we don't teach our children to follow Christ, the world will teach them not to. And I think you can all agree with that. Another quick quote is, the best learning I had came from teaching. Corey Ten, ten, ten Boom, we know, all know who she is. Uh, another one is, children are great imitators, so give them something great to imitate. And then, teaching kids to count is fine, but teaching them what counts is best. And uh, I, I, I wanted to share some of uh, the, the, the groundwork of what the Bible says. Of course, we're all familiar with this scripture, Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Also, Deuteronomy 5, or 6, 5, 9, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Take to heart these words that I give you today. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you, you're at home or away, and when you lie down or get up. Write them down and tie them around your wrist and wear them as headbands as a reminder. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Uh, kind of uh, appropriate for what we're facing today. And then also Matthew 18, and anyone who welcomes a little child like this on my behalf is welcoming me. But if you cause one of these little children or one of these little ones who trust in me to fall into sin, it would be better for you to have a large millstone tied around your neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. And one last scripture, Psalm 78. Two to four, for I will speak to you in a parable. I will teach you hidden lessons from our past, stories we have heard and known, stories our ancestors handed down to us. We will not hide these truths from our children. We will tell the next generation about the glorious deeds of the Lord, about his power. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of background because I really feel like, you know, our. All, many of our parents are, are opening up their eyes to, to, to a different way of looking at things today. And I think we are really going back to the way God really intended it for us to, to, to be the parents that we need to be and to teach our children and not leave it all up to somebody else. Don't even leave it up to the, the, the pastor at church. Don't even leave it up to some other teachers. Um, uh, or a place you just drop off your kids and, you know, 
a chance to get away. But, but I, I believe God wants us to be the spiritual leaders and, uh, and the educators in our house because they learn more there than anywhere else. Um, I just also want to bring attention to everybody just so that you're aware. Uh, we have done a lot of work uh, on our, our kids' website. We update it every, every day, kidstownet.com, and there are a lot of things there to help you. We have a special area for homeschooling, and there are literally hundreds of free resources on that page. I'm just showing, scrolling through some of those. Some of the other things we have on the website, we have devotions for kids every day. We have different challenges. There's a photo gallery there with thousands of photos that you, if your kids want to go and look at past photos from church, they are, there are thousands there. You all know that Pastor Keith takes lots of pictures. We have fun stuff for kids. We have helps for parents. We have videos for kids. We have a section for the Kids Town Online, and you can go back and view all of the past Kids Town Online services. I don't know if you're aware, but we have actually been reaching hundreds more children than we did prior to COVID-19. So it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, starting this week, we have a new feature, not only the main Kids Town Online service, but we have a imagination station for kids down junior kids, the preschoolers and kindergartners. Um, uh, Pastor Kevin's done a great job of putting the content and I've, I've helped them out and we, we're producing that and we're going to have a neat little format. Um, this week it's at the end of uh, the Kids Town online service, but it's also viewable separately online as well. And then, uh, you know, we have the MPAC girls and the Rangers online uh, every Wednesday. And then also uh, we have our Facebook page. Now I just created a brand new Facebook page uh, just today. It's called the ETAG Kids Town Super Parent Group and we'll be sending out invitations to, to hundreds of our parents um, and that you'll be able to be, uh, to have a, a give and take and to share and, uh, and, and to help one another as parents on here. Uh, let me go back here too and just mention we have our YouTube channel and we have hundreds of videos of our own kids on our YouTube channel. You can go back. In fact, we are now working on 4 million views of our, of our, of our kids town, uh, not the church, but our kids town YouTube channel, which, which is incredible for a kids ministry. And uh, we're thankful for the outreach that we've been able to have. So uh, anyway, I'm going to unshare this now and we're going to get into another portion of, of today's uh, uh, a webinar. And um, I want to thank all of our panel that, that have joined together. We have an, an elite group here and I uh, appreciate and love each and every one of you. And uh, I'm just going to go around and uh, we'll, I'll, I'll uh, introduce and unmute you one at a time. And then uh, each of our panel is going to share just a, uh, a, a short bio of themselves and, and then maybe uh, a tip or two or a resource that they would like to share with you today. And um, uh, why don't we start? I guess I'll just start up with uh, at the top of my screen. It may differ be different on yours, but it's Miss Beth Ann Kelly. And um, um, Beth Ann, if you just want to share with us, Beth Ann is uh, is our current uh, kids pastor at the Southwest campus, and she heads up our Impact Girls. So, Miss Beth Ann, welcome. Um, welcome, everyone. Um, Again, I'm Ms. Beth Ann. I'm serving as the um, children's pastor right now at Southwest. Um, I also work with our impact department at Central and under Pastor Keith as the um, music director for our kids town. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, I've actually been working with children since I was 16 um, and working in children's church, um, puppets, singing, music, all of it. And um, I've done um, Sunday school and um, recently now just um, over impact and um, children's pastor. Um, so I've worked with children all my life. It is a calling that I feel 
very young age that God has given me. Um, one thing that I use um, is on Facebook. It's called I Love Kidman. Um, I go to that a lot. Um, they put different stuff out that families are doing, um, different things that other churches are doing, just to get an idea of how everybody is working um, together through this time that we're going through. Um, but you can find it on Facebook, and it's called I Love Kitman. Great. Well, thank you, Beth Ann. Um, I forgot to actually introduce myself. I'm Pastor Keith, uh, the Children's Ministries Pastor at Evangel Temple, and this is my wife, Cheryl. And um, you all know that we're pastors, and we've been in full-time ministry for 41 years, but you may not know that uh, we both have education degrees. I, I majored in music education and minored in Bible and uh, graduated from Evangel University in Springfield, Missouri. Cheryl uh, had a double major and uh, 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 of, of elementary education and special education, and she has taught in Christian schools. She has taught in, uh, in, in public schools uh, in Indiana, Georgia, and South Florida, and has also worked with uh, special ed uh, in regular classroom and in special ed. Myself, the, the, I, have, I have taught in a couple of Christian schools, uh, directed the, the, the junior high and senior high bands of, of two different Christian schools in my past as well. So we do have a little bit of educational background uh, as well. So but, and we've also homeschooled uh, for several years, four years, according to Cheryl. She did most of that. Uh, but uh, so I'm going to move on. And uh, the, the next one on the other side of my screen is, is Pastor Kevin Church. So, uh, and Kevin and Rachel uh, do our Kids Town Junior Ministry. So share with us a little bit, Pastor Kevin. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Pastor Kevin, Kevin Church. Uh, it's my wife, Rachel. Uh, we are the Associate Children's Pastors at Evangel Temple. We work with Pastor Keith, and we head up the Kids Town Junior. It is our kindergarten, uh, well, our four years old through kindergarten age, and uh, we work with that group. Uh, Miss Rachel and I have both uh, worked in children's ministries. I've worked in children's ministries for probably close to 30 years. Uh, I've worked in Royal Rangers, so many of, if you have a Royal Rangers, they, they probably know me from there. Uh, I've worked in Royal Rangers for over 30 years. Uh, we started together, and our first ministry was, um, was Bible quiz, junior Bible quiz. And, so we, and we love Bible quiz. We love the study of God's Word. And, uh, and I'll let Miss Rachel share a little bit about what she works in. Hi, everyone. In addition to our ministries at Evangel Temple with Kids Town Junior, um, I have been serving with Girls Ministries, previously Missionettes. Uh, this summer will be 24 years, which just is amazing. At the local church, I served uh, with the Friends Group, which is middle school, and we have some high schoolers who uh, still come back because they, they just love it, and uh, it's a great opportunity to have a small mentoring group and uh, just be able to really take God's word and make it relevant to where they're at and what they're going, uh, facing, going through uh, at this time in their lives. We also have the special needs ministry at Evangel. It's still um, in its early stages, but such an awesome opportunity to minister to kids according to the way they need to be ministered to. And uh, to follow Pastor Keith's lead, I do have um, some educational background behind what I offer. Um, my bachelor's degree is in English education, and I'm almost complete with my master's in marriage and family therapy. So reaching children and families is at the heart of where I'm at and where my, my passions stem from. So I'm glad to be a part of this today. Hey Amen. And uh, I might just say that Pastor Kevin and Rachel often do uh, some uh, family counseling uh, in various uh, times, so you can keep that in mind if you have need of that. One thing I forgot to tell everybody is that uh, many of our, uh, our members on here, panel members, have already placed some notes in the webinar notes, and you can download those, okay? And uh, we will be adding to those notes as well, so that everyone on this screen 
has given us. So we're blessed with that. I'd like to move on to um, our next panel member, Amanda. Uh, she is a public school teacher. I'll let you talk from here and uh, share with us a, a tip or two. Hi, um, I'm a third grade teacher out in Baker County and I've been teaching for 20 years in the same grade, same room. Um, it's amazing to get to stay where I started. And um, I just wanna share that there are free resources. If you need curriculum or anything like that, go and find it. Um, ReadWorks is awesome for reading or if you need a math, math magician, um, those kinds of things you can find. Also, Teacher Pay Teachers. It's an awesome place where teachers go and they, they upload their um, curriculum and it is awesome. It's right from a teacher's perspective to an, a student. So if you guys need anything, um, just let me know. Thanks. Thank you, Amanda. And I might just say that all those resources that you uh, mentioned are uh, on our resource page. So you can just go there and click on them. Uh, maybe not the teachers pay teachers, but, uh, but uh, we will add that as well. And then uh, another uh, public school teacher uh, is Quentin Taylor. Hi, Quentin. Make sure you unmute yourself there so we can hear you. There you go. Hey, everybody. My name is Quentin Taylor, and I have been <clears throat> working in elementary education since 1996. I started as a substitute and then an assistant in kindergarten and a computer lab assistant while I was getting my degree from the University of North Florida in elementary education. And starting in 2001, I started teaching fourth grade. I've taught fifth grade. I've been the instructional coach. So I got to teach the teachers of fourth and fifth grade. And for the last five years, I have been working in the media center as media specialist, while also going to FSU to get my master's in media and information science. So that's my background, but also I have been teaching Sunday school just about the same amount of time. I started teaching second and third grade Sunday school at my um, native church where I grew up. And that started in 1996. And then when the move to Evangel about three years ago, started teaching fifth grade Sunday school here. So I love elementary children, their honesty, their truth, their love, everything they have. It's pure and it's a great place to be, to serve and to see what life is all about. Amen. Do you have any uh, particular tips that you want to share or any resources today? Well, as the media specialist, I would be asking you to please find ways for your children to continue reading every day. Even if it is a book online that could read to them, we need them to continue to think that way. Um, one place that we use, getepic.com, there's even an app called Epic. Um, it's through Scholastic, I believe. It's like Netflix for books. And there may be a charge for parents at this time right now. They've probably waived some of that. But it's not very much if it's something that you wanted to do. Audible through Amazon is another good place to get books that you could read. And um, just to help something consistent stay in their life, let's, let's get books in them so that they can continue enjoying those characters and places that you can go in a book that we can't go anywhere else now. So, <laughs> And you can pretend to have a library at home and say, shh, to your kids, right? <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for those recommendations, Quentin. Make sure you uh, send those to me and we'll add them to our resource page uh, so that people can conveniently get to those places. I'm going to go down to uh, Kim McDaniel. Um, she is a longtime member of Evangel Temple. Uh, lots of kids in our church family. She has, well, she's a homeschooler. I'll let her tell you about it. She's done a great job. Kim. Hi, my name is Kim McDaniel. I have four daughters and I have homeschooled all of all four daughters. This is our 18th year of homeschooling. 
Um, my two oldest, I've um, homeschooled out, graduated, and they have attended college. Um, I have a fifth grader and a 10th grader this year. And um, so things have gotten easier because I've decreased my class size. But um, my background is not in education. My background is in nursing and with a specialty in peds nursing. So um, I did that prior to homeschooling my children. So I did have a little bit of um, experience dealing with kids. But um, I guess the things that I can share this morning, things that make our um, school days run well um, in our home is that we have a, um, a set time that the kids get up and a set time that they go to bed. And while that time may change, depending on what's going on, like right now, the bedtime may be pushed back a little. Um, if there's still a set time, there's an alarm that goes off, they set their alarm, they get up, um, they know what time they're gonna be going to bed. Um, it's, you know, it's not a surprise that day. Um, also, um, we run on a schedule, you know, once they're up, we have a set schedule of the, of the way things go, kind of keeping a routine. Um, so schoolwork is in that routine and so it's not really questioned whether or not we're going to do it. it you know it just gets done um we also i always i've always had my kids for the whole 18 years that i've homeschooled them we dress i tell them we dress for the occasion when they get up every morning i make them get dressed brush their teeth wash their face all those types of things as if they were going off i mean like they don't have to put on shoes or you know things like that their clothes don't even have to match um, if they don't want them to, but they do have to get up and they do have to get dressed. Um, and um, it makes them, you know, I feel that if I let them stay in their pajamas, they kind of, you know, are a little more lazy. Um, but I tell them we're dressing for the occasion or we're dressing for success, I tell them. So um, those are just a few things that help us. Thank you so much, Kim. And uh, she has a full page of notes in... Uh, in our download for this webinar. So you can check those out. Very good reading. Uh, I'd like to move on to uh, Laura, who is our nursery coordinator at Evangel Temple, and she deals with the very little ones all the time. So, Laura. Hey, um, my name is Laura Hicks, and I am with Evangel Temple's nursery. So that's zero through three, lots of fun. Um, we get to watch them grow up from not being able to walk to talking. So that's exciting too. Um, I am a married mother of two children and this is our first year of homeschooling. So um, it was something that I prayed about for a long time because um, my, I have a kindergartner this year and a uh, seventh grader. And I prayed about it for a while beforehand and just thought, God, you know, let me know if I need to. I just felt this tug in, but would never do it. And this year, he just really, he, he, he ran it home that you are going to homeschool this year. And I'm so glad that he did. Um, I'm learning a lot personally through teaching them, and I love to learn. I love the history, I love all of those things, so I get to learn too. Um, I think that, just like Kim said, even though it's my first year, I found that you dress when you get up. You certainly have a schedule. If not, it, it just does something to you mentally. So getting up, and you should be ready to open the front door if somebody, a stranger comes in. So you should, you should be able to, to welcome somebody. Um, but just, just learning how to teach and learning how to learn with them, um, just figuring things out and also realizing that, that I have so many resources, especially at church. Oh my word, the, the other parents that homeschool, I ask them so many questions and, and they're like, oh no, do it this way. Or you can look um, online or for like my seventh grader, I have her whole curriculum already set out. So that makes it a lot easier that I get to follow that curriculum as well. Um, but pre-planning definitely helps. 
and also learning when it's time to take a break because I have a tendency to just want to go through and get it all done and then we have the rest of the day free but their minds need to decompress after a few minutes after 20 30 minutes they need a break and I need to learn okay let's do a puzzle or let's go you know play with a dog for a few minutes so breaks as well playing I have to learn how to play and they learn so much through playing as well. Well, that's, that's great, Laura. And Laura has uh, submitted a number of things that we have included in our notes as well. So um, I, you know, I want to thank all of our panel members today. And um, um, whenever you view this, I hope that you can get something out of this. Uh, I want to remind you um, of all the resources at kidstownet.com that we do have. And we continually update those on a daily basis. Believe me, I have put hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of work into it. And I hope all of you as parents take advantage of the things that we've put together so that you can easily access those things. Um, you know, we can share it with you, but unless you consume it yourself it doesn't do you and your family any good so I encourage you to do that you know we're we're all learning this we're, th th this is something new we all learn every day you know I've been in full-time ministry for 41 years but I'm still learning you know um, and and like you know you've, some of you have been teaching for 20 some years but you're still learning we're all learning we're all in this together and and then I also call attention that because we just we just started a brand new parent super parent page for our kids town family and uh, uh, just just ask you all to kind of help promote that it'll be a great give and take where we can ask questions and share some of you have knowledge some of other people you know some people are good at one thing somebody people are good at something else and we can uh, we can share one with another that's what the body of Christ is all about right yep. uh, so so we thank God for for all of those that he has placed in our leadership and we thank God for all of our parents and I do want to take time before we we uh, wrap this up we've got a few minutes left on our zoom meeting and uh, uh, I just want to take time to uh, just pray for all of our church family and, uh, and all of our Kids Town family um, that uh, God will continue to watch over us, protect us. And um, we're looking forward to when we can come back and be all together. But uh, until then, and that's probably going to be a little while yet, but uh, we're, you know, we we have we've had some new opportunities and we're doing church differently and i think even after all of this we're going to be doing church differently in the future and uh you know taking advantage of some of the electronics and 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 the media that we have but uh, my my clock i've got three a little about i'm less than four minutes left so um i'm a pastor you know <laughs> trying to wind down so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're just gonna pray together and uh, believe God together Heavenly Father we thank you for even this time that you've given to us to be with our families and I pray Lord that you'd help every family realize their responsibility every parent their responsibility in teaching their children it's not just a thing where they pull their hair out but it's something that you instituted and and they need to be a part of that and I pray Lord that that, that you would bless them and that you would encourage them that you would help them and when they need help that they will know where to turn you are really the answer and we thank you Lord that that we can put all these resources and everything together and we could come together today and maybe make a a, a, a bit of a difference in in some of our families' lives and and most of all we ask for your covering for the covering of your blood over all of our families for the protection keep us safe keep us healthy continue to provide and meet for each and every single family in the name of Jesus and we'll give you all the glory all the praise and all the honor and everybody said 
I hope you enjoyed the webinar. Don't forget to check out all the resources we have on our website at kidstownet.com. Plus, be sure to join our eTag Super Parent group on Facebook. And one more thing, please, please share this with your friends. And we want to thank you for watching. This has been brought to you by the Kidstown Children's Ministries of Evangel Temple Assembly of God in Jacksonville, Florida. We are moving forward. We're doing kids' ministry in new ways in a new world.